unhappy Olympians and delegates, construction delays, and political unrest are just a few problems Rio de Janeiro is still facing. Only a few days before the Olympics opening ceremony. Hello, Rio. Many raise questions whether Rio de Janeiro can pull off the biggest sporting event in the world. Here is what you need to know. Australian athletes were robbed during a fire evacuation on July 29th at the Olympic Village. Laptops and team shirts were stolen. A Chinese athlete was also robbed last week. Human rights groups are protesting an increase in the number of recent violent incidents. Rio's state government said 84 people were killed by police officers in May, a 91% increase from a year earlier. The Olympic Village is another issue foreign teams have with Rio. When teams arrived a week ago, athletes cited problems with cleanliness, water leaks, and exposed wiring. The $3 billion subway expansion finally opened this week, but riders still have to take a bus for at least eight miles before reaching the Olympic venues. Some athletes moved out of the village and into hotels to get closer to their venues. A number of star athletes have skipped the Olympics this year because of the Zika virus. Although golf returns to the Olympics for the first time in 112 years, some of the sport's biggest stars won't be playing, like Jason Day from Australia and Vijay Singh from Fiji. Canadian tennis star Miles Routnich also pulled out of the Olympics. Water pollution is another huge issue. Rio was supposed to clean up the beaches and Bay Area, where sailing and other sports are taking place. But the Associated Press released a study that the waterways are just as filthy as ever, and tourists can face serious health risks. The organizers say despite these issues, Rio will rise to the occasion. Brazil is the first South American country to host the Olympics. Its struggles to get ready for the Games may cost other developing nations a chance to host a competition in the future. At least according to some members of the International Olympic Committee, who have said that from now on, the IOC will hold back from organizing the world's biggest sporting event in unstable cities.